Okay, so what I want to do next is I want to talk to you about I want to talk to you about this version. Okay, I want to talk to you about this version. Before I even talk to you about this, I just want to tell you all, all, all simple covalent molecules has this. Okay, so every, every single covalent molecule that you can think of, every simple covalent molecule that you can think of will have dispersion. So easy, that's easy, okay? And another thing I want to tell you is larger, larger the molecule, stronger the dispersion. Okay, example. Okay, example. Let's say oxygen uh, versus carbon dioxide versus this guy just now, C20H42. So in this case, this molar mass is 32 grams per mole. This is 44 grams per mole. And this, I'm not even going to do it. Uh, 12 times 20, 240, 240 plus 282. Okay, let's say 282 grams per mole. I could be wrong, but please do want to send me a message to correct me. What is happening here is you can see the molar mass is increasing, right? The molar mass is increasing. Basically, the size of the molecule is increasing. So what is happening here is dispersion, dispersion forces getting stronger. That's it, okay? Dispersion forces getting stronger. So what will happen is going that way, melting point will increase, boiling point will increase, density will increase uh viscosity will increase okay going in that direction so basically all you got to know is this everybody has a dispersion everybody has a dispersion and dispersion becomes stronger as the atomic rate uh, the molar mass increases okay as the molar mass increases now i just going to quickly explain to you what dispersion is. It's not important for you to know what dispersion is, but I'm going to explain it to you, okay? You see, if you look at a molecule, right? Let's say you take a molecule like this, okay? Let me try to draw a perfect circle. Uh, okay, perfect. Okay, let's say this is a molecule. At any given time, the molecule may have, let's say, example, huh? it might have 10 electrons, 1, two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay twelve or thirteen fourteen okay fourteen electrons that's it there are fourteen electrons so most of the time these 14 electrons are all well distributed around the molecule and i also want you to know electrons are always moving they're not stagnant in one place. They are always moving, okay? So sometimes they are here, sometimes they are there, they are here, they are there. So there can come a time, there can come a time, what will happen is the electrons may be more on one side of the molecule compared to the other side. Like you look at this picture here, suddenly, suddenly at one given moment, there seems to be more electrons on this side, on, on my left hand side compared to the right hand side. So what happens now is if I draw an imaginary line here, right? If I draw an imaginary line here, you will notice there are more electrons on the left hand side compared to the right hand side. So what happens is, what happens is the left hand side becomes slightly negative because there are more electrons on this side and this side becomes slightly positive because there are less electrons on that side. Understood? This happened just for a very short period of time. But then, but then there is another molecule around here. There's another molecule around here. So what happens is the electrons on this molecule, right? Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's say there were 10 electrons. These 10 electrons, notice that the opposite side is slightly more positive, more positive. And suddenly what happens is the electrons start moving more towards this side. 
they start moving more towards this side okay the electrons start moving more towards this side and when that happens when that happens let's do this let's draw another imaginary line here so what happened here is this side becomes slightly negative this side becomes slightly positive and when this happens when this happens what happens there is an attraction between the positive and the negative okay positive side and negative side. there is an attraction this attraction is called dispersion force okay this attraction is called dispersion force at the same time at the same time just now at the same time just now okay i'm going to try to move this a little bit okay try to move this here at the same time right let's say there was another molecule on this side okay let's change color let's say there was another molecule on this side on this molecule the electrons were all nicely distributed they were all nicely distributed okay how many uh, three seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen okay all of the electrons were perfectly distributed and suddenly now is next to another molecule right it's next to this molecule where this side is more negative what will happen is the electrons on this molecule will start moving to this side they will start moving further away they were, because the other side is negative right? so negative and negative don't like each other so the electrons will start moving further away and if i draw an imaginary line here okay if i draw an imaginary line here i will notice that there are more electrons on my left hand side so this becomes negative this becomes positive again there will be an attraction so this basically is what dispersion forces is is it what happens is when one molecule the electrons are more on one side compared to the other side so one side of the molecule becomes more positive and the other side becomes more negative and then they start attracting each other that's called dispersion forces okay so that's what dispersion forces are so that's simple right and um okay so next i want to talk to you about dipole dipole and the difference between dipole dipole and hydrogen bonding okay here we go